care about, you want to see them get to the next level, do that. There's also a path by which you can have your teenagers become a part of this program so that we can raise our children to be investors and not spenders. Amen. So I ask that you will please incorporate them. Our music ministry is going to set the atmosphere for the word of God when they would have concluded. Secure your Bibles and make your way to the book of First Kings. Make your way to the book of First Kings and after uh, the choir would have sung, we're going straight to the word of God. Lord, make me a house. Make me a house of prayer. Oh, oh, Lord, make me a house, make me a house of prayer, a house of prayer. May the fire of my altar never burn out. May the fire of my altar never burn out. May the fire of my altar never burn out. Make me a house of prayer. May the fire of my altar never burn out. May the fire of my altar never burn out. May the fire of my altar never burn out. Make me a house of prayer. Lord, make me a house. So pray. Make me a house of prayer. Oh, oh, oh. Lord, Lord, make me a house. Oh, let's catch on. Make me a house of prayer. Oh, it's a mighty choir. A house of prayer. May the fire of my own. May the fire of my altar never burn out. May the fire of my altar never burn out. Make me a house of prayer. May the fire of my altar never burn out. May the fire of my altar never burn out. May the fire of my altar never burn out. Make me a house of prayer. Make me a house of prayer. Hey, 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 Lord. Lord, make me a house. I need. Make me a house. You should have it by now. Make me a house of prayer. May the fire of my own. May the fire of my own turn never burn. May the fire of my own turn never come on. Let's receive that prayer and a praise to God with one accord. Make me a house of prayer. Oh Lord, make me.
for your hands for just one moment hallelujah I want you to lift up that hand we want him to make us a house of prayer as that hand is lifted there's some things on your heart you need to say to God God has been craving hearing your voice would you right where you are right where you are let's turn this into a house of prayer would you open up your mouth and just start talking to God about what you need about what you've been going through I can't hear any prayer warriors come on day and night in your hand day and night day and night make me day and night make me
2 Kings chapter 5. Thank you, dancers. Thank you, music ministry. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Make me day. Day, 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 Second Kings chapter five. Second Kings chapter five. I want us to consider if we can verses fifteen and sixteen. Fifteen and sixteen just a little bit. Thank you. Second Kings five. Verse fifteen and sixteen. Once you've had it, once you say, I got it. Then Naaman and all his attendants went back to the man of God. They stood before him and said, Now I know that there is no God in all the world except in Israel. So please accept this gift from your servant. Verse 16. The prophet answered, as surely as the Lord lives whom I serve, I will not accept the thing. And even though Naaman urged him, he refused. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. Arm yourself with a writing instrument. There are some critical points and principles that I want to expound upon today that I want you to have long after this worship encounter is over. And Naaman and all his attendants went back to the man of God. He stood before him and said, Now I know there is no God in all the world except in Israel. So please accept a gift from your servant. The prophet answered, As surely as the Lord lives whom I serve, I will not accept the thing. And Naaman begged him pleaded with him, urged him, please take this from me. The prophet refused. I want to preach for a little while today using as a subject, too much comes with it. Too much comes with it. Would you look at the person beside you and tell him, I can't take stuff from everybody. To be iconoclastic has always typically been associated with personality. To be iconoclastic never would be synonymous with technology. That is, of course, until the introduction of the iPhone. People set up outside Apple stores like they were getting tickets to a rare concert. The latest installment of iPhone 6 broke all records that the very first weekend they sold estimated 10 million iPhone 6. And that is from pre-orders. My children and I are devout users of Apple products. My mother who sits amongst you today my father, my sister in Los Angeles. And as a consequence, I had every intention of upgrading to the iPhone 6 until I received the information that disrupted my moral antenna. And I want to share with you today. 
Since 1998, seven million people have died in the civil war taking place in the Democratic Republic of the Congo, formerly known as Zaire. Seven million people. The infraction began because Rwandan rebels tried to overcome the government. And the government teamed up with local militias known as Mai Mai. And since that time, I don't know whether you can even put your mind around it, the Congo is now considered by the UN and humanitarian agencies as the rape capital of the world. Since 2008, watch this, since 2008, six million women and children have been raped. Since 2008, six million women and children have been raped in the Congo. They have been using, the revolutionary forces have been using rape as an excuse for power. The capstone of corruption is that both sides, both governmental agencies and revolutionary factions, hear me very carefully, are enslaving children. They're enslaving children to mine minerals. And with those mine minerals, they produce a substance called coltan. Would you please write that down? Colton, C-O-L-T-A-N. Those mixed minerals that come, 80% of the world's resource of Colton comes from the Congo. The children who are mining Colton are sent into mines with no security health equipment. It is interesting to note because many of you are trying to figure out, Pastor, I'm not making the connection. 80% of Apple's iPhones use, watch this, Colton from the Congo. It's used, watch this, for the circuit boards, hold the current and to hold the electrical charge. Due to the devastating impact on children forced, watch this, into labor and women that are being raped, the United Nations in America silence has called for a moratorium for no export of Colton. Hear me very carefully. But here it is, uh, the Congolese employees of the government and the revolutionary factions have been paying these children who are in the mines $10 a month. $10 a month while the heads of the revolutionary mobs are receiving $250 million apiece. It's illegal, watch this, it's illegal now to export Colton and so they have found a pipeline to get Colton from the Congo into Belgium. Jesus. They're shipping it into Belgium because it cannot leave their ports. And so they're turning a blind eye to rape amongst girls, women, and the enslavement of children just to get Colton out for the production of iPhones. The Colton, watch this, that is mined from the Congo is in fact smuggled into Belgium and once it gets to Belgium, it is then flown to China. Labor watch care organizations categorize the factory where iPhones are assembled as a labor camp. In China, teenagers are recruited and sought out for employment, watch this, and are forced to work on 